Good morning, brothers and sisters. Today is Friday, November 13th. Um, so yes, Friday the 13th in 2020. Um, but today we celebrate uh, the uh, optional memorial feast of St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. Uh, Mother Cabrini was born in Italy. Uh, she came to the United States in 1889. Um, and straight away, and this was with the encouragement of uh, Pope Leo XIII, um, and straight away began establishing schools and hospitals and orphanages. Uh, she also went down to South America, where she founded schools in Argentina, Brazil, and Nicaragua. Um, Mother Cabrini died in 1917, um, and uh, was the first United States citizen uh, to be canonized a saint. Um, and so we, uh, we celebrate Mother Cabrini uh, in just the way that, just the way that the Lord worked in her, um, driving her forward, uh, particularly again with hospitals and orphanages, um, those who were simply in need of help. And so friends, we begin our morning prayer uh, with the invitatory. And so we begin, Lord, open my lips and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Come, let us sing, or let us sing praise to God as we acclaim Saint Cabrini. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in his hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him. The dry land, too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Forty years I endured that generation. I said they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us sing praise to God as we acclaim St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal home. Beneath the shadow of your throne, your saints have dwelt secure. Sufficient is your arm alone, and our defense is sure. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compl compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done, that you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed you love truth in the heart, then, in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me. 
that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit, and heal our troubled conscience, so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit, we may proclaim your praise and glory before all the nations. Create a clean heart in me, O God. Renew in me a steadfast spirit. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Let all men speak of the Lord's majesty and sing his praises in Jerusalem. O Jerusalem, holy city, he scourged you for the works of your hands, but will again pity the children of the righteous. Praise the Lord for his goodness, and bless the King of the ages, so that his tent may be rebuilt in you with joy. May he gladden within you all who are captives, all who were ravaged, may he cherish within you for future, for all generations to come. A bright light will shine to all parts of the earth. Many nations shall come to you from afar, and the habitants of all the limits of the earth, drawn to you by the name of the Lord God, bearing in their hands their gifts for the King of Heaven. Every generation shall give joyful praise in you, and shall call you the Chosen One through all ages forever. Go then rejoice over the children of the righteous, who shall all be gathered together, and shall bless the Lord of the ages. Happy are those who love you. Happy those who rejoice in your prosperity. Happy are all the men who shall grieve over you, over all your chastisements. For they shall rejoice in you, as they behold all your joy forever. My spirit blesses the Lord, the great King, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Rejoice, Jerusalem, for through you all men will be gathered to the Lord. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All-powerful God, it is through your church, generously endowed with gifts of grace and fortified by the Holy Spirit, that you send out your word to all nations. Strengthen your church with the best of all food and make it dauntless in faith. Multiply its children to celebrate with one accord the mysteries of your love at the altar on high. Zion, praise your God, who sent his word to renew the earth. 
and from the common of uh, holy women, the common of religious. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers, I beg you through the mercy of God to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, your spiritual worship. Do not conform yourselves to this age, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, so that you may judge what is God's will, what is good, pleasing, and perfect. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. He dwells in her. She will not falter. His loving presence will be with her. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord will help her. His loving presence will be with her. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. When he finds one of great value and give he find he finds one of great value and gives all that he has to possess it. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls. He finds one of great value and gives all that he has to possess it. My brothers, with all the holy women, let us profess our faith in our Savior and call upon him. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you forgave the sinful woman because she loved much. Forgive us who have sinned much. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, the holy women minister to your needs during your journeys. Help us to follow your footsteps. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, Master, Mary listened to your words while Martha served your needs. Help us to serve you with love and devotion. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you call everyone who does your will your brother sister and mother. Help us to do what is pleasing to you in word and action. Come, Lord Jesus. And gathering all of these prayers and these praises into one, we use those sacred words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God our Father, you called Francis Xavier Cabrini from Italy to serve the immigrants of America. By her example, Teach us concern for the stranger, the sick, and the frustrated. By her prayers, help us to see Christ in all the men and women we meet. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. 
Friends, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Friends, thank you for joining me for a morning prayer from the Liturgy of the Hours. Um, as I've mentioned before, it is a, a great joy for me to be able to, uh, to pray. Um, and then through the wizardry of, uh, of the digital age that we live in, for others to be able to, uh, to join their prayers and all of us be able to pray together. Um, so, uh, not sure what you all have in store today on this Friday the 13th. Uh, hopefully something fun. So whether you are out and about, uh, whether you are staying in, remember to be safe today. Remember to be healthy today. But above all, friends, remember to be holy today. May God be praised in you and may God be praised through you. And I hope that you have a beautiful day.